You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Fashion Star After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Fashion Star After Show. Two sixty Yeah. What? 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 Dance, dance, dance. All right. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the music to end. <laughs> hey guys, if you are tuning in right now, this is the After Buzz After Show for Fashion Star, and it happens to be the finale. Wah Aww. wah. It's, uh, it's, it's been quite a 10 weeks, and uh, of course we don't disappoint. We don't like to disappoint you guys, and we have quite a few special guests in the studio with us today. So I'm, just, I'm not gonna waste any time, because we have so much, you know, just so much going on. So much goodness, you know? So to my right is our special guest. Um, would you like to introduce yourself? My name is David Appel. Ooh, I was a contestant woo. on Fashion Star. Yes, my voice is sexy. Thank you. <laughs> you do have a good voice. That's why Thank you. That song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and would you like to introduce yourselves across the table? Hey guys, it's Virginia, and I'm Erica Vieira. And it's a little loud out there. I guess there's a lot of good juiciness going on in the AfterBuzz studio. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement everybody. tonight. There's a lot of excitement A lot of excitement. And, of course, I'm Deanna Vaughn. And we are here to bring you lots of highlights from the finale show. And I also want to remind you to make sure you download us on iTunes. It's completely free, F-R-E-E. Who doesn't, you know, love free stuff? And we also really, really encourage you guys to rate us. We've got like 4.5 stars out of nice. 5, which is pretty amazing, right? So you rate guys? us 5 stars to get us back yeah. up to 5 stars. Rate, rate us. And, of course, we love your comments, your feedback, your suggestions. The whole season, we've, you know, told you guys to share, share, share. And we and we listen, we read. So just keep that coming, even though it's the last episode. Keep it coming. All right, let's tell them. Let's tell everyone who who we have are as more special guests for this episode. Okay, well, I kind of didn't want to say anything because you know traffic, but okay. I think we should. Say. We we also have uh, Johanna. She's going to be joining us. Johanna Hernandez. She was also a contestant this season on Fashion Star. And she's back in the studio. She's her back second in the time. studio. Yep. And then we have a couple people calling in. Um, Erica De Salvatore, she was one of the buyers from Express. She's mm-hmm. going to be calling in. I used to work with Erica Yay. back when I wanted to slip my wrist. Anyway, <laughs> and also Cassandra. Cassandra's going to be calling in. So we've got like a big packed yeah. show for you guys tonight. But until, you know, then we've got sexy David holding down the designer fort. holding yes. down the fort. So let's get started. So it was the finale. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was down to three designers. Uh, let's see here. Hunter... Daniel and Cassandra, right? Mm-hmm. One, of, Did, one for each mentor. Yeah, one for each mentor. Now, do you think that happened just, do you think that's really how it went down, or do you think that's a little producing? You know, some of our guests have said it, it's really how it went down. I think it was a little bit producing, in my opinion, because it's just, it's way too neat and nice. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, really, each one of them, because what would have happened, say, if, all of Nicole's team was gone, or all of Jessica's team. I'm sure she would have still been there, but it would not have been the same. Agreed. So I think it was a little bit of producing. Well, we have an insider sitting next to us. Let, let's get your your, your uh, opinion opinion on this. Um, I definitely think that it wasn't, you know, wasn't set up like that. It just sort of happened. I okay. don't. Uh, I think all every single person was good that was there. Mm-hmm. Um, but it definitely did help that all three had you know, a contestant. So it definitely worked out. I don't think anybody would be uh, as involved if they weren't there or they didn't have a contestant. But I think that they probably, if it wasn't all three, like maybe one of them would have worked with the other designer, would have been like a free-floating mentor and work with all three of them or all two of them, whatever one. I mean, if you think back to the previous episode when it was down to Jesse Ray and Garrett, I mean, I did think at the time they were the weakest. 
So, right. you know, I don't think anybody else would have gone in place of them. Okay. Who, who else do you think would have gone if it was going to be something set up? Sylvia. <laughs> well, she but was she's already gone. Yeah, for a while. She, she was already gone. So what? Uh, <laughs> okay. Is there a little animosity there? For no. You, Sylvia? Uh, no. No? No. He's saying she's good. Oh, you're saying she's good yeah. and she should have yeah. been. She was oh, I totally agree with you. Yeah. I think she should have been so there instead of Cassandra. To get up all of them? No, no, no. I'm just, <laughs> we, we like the drama here. We have a caller. Oh, oh we have a caller. So Who's the caller? Caller, you're on the air with After Buzz TV's Fashion Star After Show. Hello. Who are we speaking to? Hello. Caller. Caller. Um, well, what's, I guess. What's going on? Okay. I guess they disconnected. They'll be back. Okay. All right. She'll All right. Be back. All right. So here's what I want to know, David. Um, you. Part of the part of the cast, one of the designers. At what point were you eliminated? I was eliminated the third round. Okay. Yes. So, what do you think? Like now that you've had time to reflect and you've seen the rest of the show and you've seen who won, like, do you think like you should have had a different strategy? Are you happy with you know how? Yeah, I probably should have watched the show before <laughs> I was on it. I didn't oh. even watch an episode. Oh, I didn't you even didn't see watch the first one. season. No. Oh. I mean, okay. but realistically, how much of a difference do you think that would have oh, made? Oh, huge difference. And, 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 really? and wow, share with I that. Yeah. I would have prepared for, like, you know, making sure I had all... I mean, most of the people had, like, their line. They pretty much designed their line mm -hmm. that okay. they designed for. I mean, I did a little bit, but I wanted something new. I wanted something totally different. And when they said, like, you know, the first the first one was make a wow piece, you know, make mm -hmm. something... A showstopper. Showstopper. Mm -hmm. Um... I tried. I mean, I even did a whole thing where they rip off the sleeves and stuff like that. A twofer. A twofer, whatever like they want to call it. Yeah. But, um, I mean. So you're saying they came in with, like, exactly what they were going to do for the whole I season? I think so. I so, think, like, they I had think... sketches. Y'all were allowed to bring no, that sort no, no, of no, no, stuff no, no, no. in? But, I mean, come on. Or at least with the strategy. It's like, a, it's like a, it, you're in a band and you're a guitarist. You play the same song over again. You don't bring in your sketch pad when you're going to go right again, do you? So it's you have it in your mind. You know mm -hmm. what you're doing. You know what you've done before in the past, and you just do it again. Right. Well, well each one, I, mean, I think that's part of even what made the contestants at the end almost favorites or kind of the reason why they stayed at the end is because they definitely had a very specific style. I mean, you saw a collection of Daniels or Cassandras and you and Hunter. You knew that was there. So they had a signature, and they already had a line. And in some ways, it's like that's what was expected of them. And um, even even through the audition process, like mm -hmm. you didn't get a sense of like, okay, I'm gonna have to design for these three stores, and you know, yet still keep my vision. Like you still didn't get a sense of of that. Not really. I was just excited to do some <laughs> stuff. You know, I was just excited to do something different. You know, yeah. you know. And I think the first season, we were still trying to figure out what was going on because they were like, okay, you're going to be the next fashion star. And when they started talking about collections, you know, we didn't know, is it going to be home goods that you were making? You know, because they kind of gave you that. It could be anything mm -hmm. because if you're going to be that fashion brand. So even this season, it was kind of like, you're going to do menswear, you're going to do womenswear. You know, what are you really going to be doing? They don't really, really tell you. It's just kind of like, okay, this week, this is what we need from you. Now, what was the outfit that got you sent home? I mean, it really shouldn't have got me sent home, but let's just be honest. <laughs> um, what was it? It was a um, reversible cardigan. And the thing, I remember the, that. The I thing remember about that. it is, is that... I, I like that. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> um, He's a little sassy over yeah. here. Um, the thing about it is, is that I've done Big and Tall before, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. there's nothing out there for them. And great, you can make a polo, you can make a button down, but they don't get the good stuff. They don't get the cool stuff, so I wanted to make something cool for them. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, you know, I was on my way out. Mm. Unknowingly. That's too bad. So, so what, what, what are your thoughts of the three contestants that were at the end? Yeah. Did they, was that something that All you... definitely should have been there. Okay. I mean, when I walk, I'm pretty good at, you know, reading people right when you meet them. Um, when I walk in, into the room with all the contestants before you even meet everybody, I knew who was good and who wasn't good. Uh, I remember Cassandra, she was just, she didn't say anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. She was really just, you know, sort of dark and, you know, not Kept really to talk to her. She's like, I'm going to come here and I'm going to win and I'm not talking to anybody and that's it. Mm -hmm. And later, I mean, she's super nice and such a sweetheart. Um, and then Daniel, too, you know, you knew that he, had it. He was very, very confident. And uh, Hunter came in as she was quiet, mm -hmm. but uh, she came in as you know, definitely somebody to reckon with. Now, outside of yourself, of course, obviously, 
Who do you think got sent home too early and should have stayed a little longer in the competition? Besides myself. Besides <laughs> yourself, yes. yes. Just want to throw that one in there again. <laughs> um, besides myself, mm, you know, I really wish that uh, Brett would have got more of a chance. Uh, I think that. Somebody else said that. I think one uh, of our other yeah. guests said that too. Yeah, I just think too. that you know what, because I, I, I was I have a whole booklet of stuff that I had before just studying and stuff, and it was all women's. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go show a video. I can do women's, and when you get there, you're like, uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> you're like, no way, I'm not doing this. Yeah. This is crazy. So, he was one person, but honestly, I think everybody, you know, besides a couple things, you know, I think everybody really went where they were supposed to go. So it doesn't prove that fact of maybe it is produced that way. Mm-hmm. So everybody really went where they showed they went, where they yeah when they should have left yeah. or yeah, yeah it was like a couple time. people. I mean, mm-hmm. I should have you know won a couple more shows. Mm-hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just got a text from Erica, and it's kind of ironic. Um, Somebody hit her car. No. What? And you got in a car accident yeah. on the way here. So that's why. So I'm not sure she's going to be. But see, well, the, difference, again, so. the difference is if somebody hit her car. See, I hit somebody's car. Ouch. No, actually, no. Somebody hit me. Sorry. Somebody, somebody hit, hit me. You. Yeah, somebody, somebody did hit, hit me. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't Cover me. those bases well, for the uh, insurance. Yes. Just <laughs> somebody did hit me again. All right. And remind us, whose team were you on? I was on Jessica's team. Jessica's team. So tell us about your experience with Jessica. Like, was she very accessible? Did you get good advice from her? Like, how was that? Jessica was great. Um, Such a sweetheart. Super nice. Mm -hmm. Um, Always was available for, you know, any question when you had one, you know, when they were there at the studio. Um, You know, as far as men's go, because I was doing men's, uh, you know, she wasn't such so knowledgeable at men's. Mm -hmm. Women's, I mean... You don't have to be have a fashion brand to know women's fashion. Uh, it's true. They know clothing. That's what they live for. That's what they put on every day. So, right. you know, as far as men's goes, it was a little tough. But does she? She does have a, you know, a fashionable, you know, fiance at the time, husband now, or I think so. I'm not sure. Fiance still, I think. Fiance still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you? Th- so, are you saying you maybe would have had a better chance if you would have been with John, or did you? Were you even able to reach out to John? No, actually, for- John. I mean, they. John did come over. They didn't air anything, but John did come over and helped me out for two, uh, you know, contest, contests. Uh, he's such a cool guy. And, I mean, it's so much better because he knows fabrics. Like, right. He knows men's fashion. He knows those buyers. He's yeah. there. He's yeah. done it before. Um, I mean, I'm supposed to know those buyers, too. I mean, I deal with those buyers, too, um, or the buyers that are in the men's divisions of those great stores. So, but, yeah, he did help out. We it's do have a caller. Oh, okay, caller. Hello. You're on the line with AfterBuzz TV's at Fashion Star After Show. Hello, is this Cassandra? Hi. Hi. It's Cassandra. Hi, Hi. Cassandra. Hey. Ah, Thanks Hi. for calling in. Thanks for calling hey, in. David. What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> You're tuning in. Oh, David. The dead muffin of Fashion I Star. I, I know. know. <laughs> He's just right here. We get his nice husky voice. Yeah, we like his radio yeah, voice. Yeah, it's nice. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, trying to prove a point here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, thanks so much for calling you in, Cassandra. Can you guys Kassana. hear me okay? Yeah, we can hear you perfectly. Yeah, perfectly. Yeah. Okay. So are you coming off of a high from the finale of the show? Um, I, you know, honestly, I was kind of I was kind of relieved that it was over. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you know, like David was saying, uh, on the first, like, it was such a fun experience filming it, and, um, I I was kind of like the one I didn't like I didn't even have a cell phone with me David probably remembers and I really wanted to just be there and like enjoy the experience of making a TV show more than like focusing on my designs like I think Dave and I had that in common where like I didn't plan to prepare at all either I was kind of like okay cool I'm gonna go and do this and then mm-hmm. just kind of take it as I go and 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 like enjoy making a TV show more than you know thinking about <laughs> like Dave and I were always kind of goofing off and you know I, I didn't have any like sketches planned I didn't do anything from like my look books or anything like that um, in those 15 minutes that we had to sketch I really kind of just thought of the design there uh, and yeah I think David and I kind of had the same David you could disagree with me if I'm just making this out but we really were trying to like be funny and entertaining <laughs> for sure <laughs> just 
I tried as much as, much as possible I, to I, be. I wish I focused on my designs a bit more. <laughs> like, watching it back, I'm like, oh, my God. And after the show ended, I had, like, passion star nightmares for, like, <laughs> three months. Did you, did you, David? I had dreams where I was like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. You should have put a button there. And I'm like, oh, my God, Cassandra, you can't change it. <laughs> well, so Cassandra, it you obviously... Weird. I'd, wake, I'd wake up and I'd think that the cameras were, like, still in my apartment. <laughs> oh my god. They were never in my apartment. What's going on? Where did they come to your apartment? <laughs> you obviously did something right though because you made it all the way to the finale. I mean your designs were amazing. I mean how how was that experience for that last episode? You know, you against uh, Daniel against Hunter and just that that the whole experience. Like can you uh, explain to us a little bit how 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 it went? Yeah, the finale was really awesome. Um, I think my nerves, like, really started to ease up at that point because it was, like, the three of us, all three of the mentors um, actually helped all of us. Like, they, it wasn't just, like, John helping me. Like, all the mentors, like, Nicole and Jessica um, went over our sketches, and uh, Jessica was just telling me to not do things that only models could wear. <laughs> I was like, yes. Um and it was like oh it was fun it was kind of directing getting it all done because we had um three days i think to finish i don't know it how all. you did that by the uh, way yeah, that was pretty amazing yeah three days for for how many was nine it? three three collections well, for each store you could do up to you could do up to three pieces per look mm. um so i know Kind of all of us were kind of, you know, helping each other out. Like, I was like, okay, Hunter, Daniel, are you guys doing some, like, dumb, dumb pieces, too? Because I don't have time to do, like, everything good. I'm yeah. like, I'm aiming for, like, one good thing per capsule. Like, I set my standards really low, obviously. And, uh, yeah, it was it was tough. I, I was just, like, bribing all my sewers. I <laughs> offered marriage to a couple Tip. of them. I was like... I did. Luis, uh, David phone members Luis. Like, I I would always, like, flirt with him and offer him some Canadian. So uh, we we have a lot in them, common. I would have done the same I thing. I would do the same thing. I'd offer them Canadian citizenship for the free health care. <laughs> <laughs> so out of those designs... Uh, um, out of those designs that you did for the finale, are there any that you just like so proud of, and in any that you just like, eh? like, what were your favorites and least favorites of your collections? Um, I loved the like sacks, the blouse and the pants. Um, I really, I loved that one. Um, I actually liked the one that he didn't like, the rosettes, because um, that's kind of like my personal style. Like, I wish they kind of explained more like my brand throughout the um, series and like my design aesthetic and my style because I feel like people were kind of like, I don't get it. Like, you, they never mentioned my brand name once, so it's kind of like, I don't get where she's coming from or her past experience. Or, you know, I, I feel if they maybe explained kind of my brand and, like, my background, um, people would have got me a bit more because, you know what I mean? Like, I feel, do you feel like just suddenly, like, out of nowhere, like, it was just kind of bits and pieces of me injected in but there was really no kind of like explanation of what i've done with my career like my brand so you know or like my design aesthetic um i definitely so, feel you know, like kind of when i was watching you that's kind of what i was confused about i mm -hmm. wanted to know more but i like they just always i was like is it edited out i really couldn't understand and even now i'm just like who is your girl like can you say you know who you're yeah, designing for um, so for me, um, I'll just my personal aesthetic is really like uh, I wear my personal clothes wardrobe is usually like all black, leather, like Rick and Morty. Very so New Yorker. Do Did you wear one. anything but black on the show? Because I don't remember seeing you in anything but black. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, hey, Cassandra, like I dress, so obviously I couldn't send like everything black on the runway. And my own line prose is like very. Um, it's all kind of about the styling, like it's all, it's mostly separate and um, it's very kind of minimal, casual, draping, a lot of leather um, and silk jerseys, a lot of knits, um, it's kind of casual, it's like a downtown edgy, tomboyish kind of vibe, hey, I would Cassandra, kind of describe hey. it as a little bit more, yeah. Can you hang on for a quick second, we're going to have um, yeah. pictures pulled up of, of your last collections. Stephen, can you pull up Cassandra's? Well, there, just just pull up the pictures, yeah, Stephen, please. Pull up the pictures now, man. Come on. So everyone can see. So these are Daniel's. That's Daniel's. So if we if we go through it, 
And then, all right, here's Cassandra. Okay, okay Stephen. Here's Cassandra. Yeah. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, so I always try to do, like, I like things to be a little bit sporty and, like, casual because I'm, I'm like, low-maintenance lazy. Like, I like to sleep <laughs> in my clothes we're, and then wear them. We're looking at this blue dress, dress right like, now you heels. did, though. <laughs> this blue dress you did? So, I mean, that's not black. It's blue. Yeah. And it's bright blue. <laughs> I, I know. It does not look like but, anything you would so do. Well, and you know um, what, Cassandra? That's my aesthetic, but, you know, I, like, my background, too, like, I worked for Catherine Melandrino. I worked oh, at LA Safari. Oh, Safari, that's so, where it comes nice. from. But, so I, I can do the feminine stuff, but I kind of wish they explained that because it's like, okay, you know, I'm kind of like a little different. Um, so, but I love the Express collection. Um, yeah, I like, you you, know, like you nailed the Express casual. collection. But that Express I, collection was fantastic. Pardon? I said you really nailed the Express collection. I, I, I really feel like you captured exactly who she was. And a uh, question for you. I know that each, you, you guys met with each of the buyers from the stores and you got a little bit of advice and they kind of, you know, let you yeah. know what they wanted to see from you. How hard was it to take, you know, the advice that you were given, but still, you know, wanting to stay true to who you are and infuse, you know, Cassandra into each collection? How hard was that? Um, actually, I, I kind of, I really liked it. Like, I like getting feedback. Um, I've been working for other brands for like, almost 10 years now so i'm kind of used to it that's why i think i i don't think it's a big deal to criticize other people's stuff and get feedback i listen to it um mm -hmm. but i did have to kind of it was hard for me to do things sexy like uh i like hardly ever show skin <laughs> i like have oh, tons of tattoos at the end. louise was like you have tattoos i'm like yeah she's like you've never shown an ounce of flesh i'm like yeah i know um so you know, it was really, it, you just kind of have to keep your hand in it and, like, your DNA in it. Um, but I did find it hard because, like I said, I'm not really used to doing things like form-fitting and, and sexy, um, you know, short, tight. Like, I like things oversized. I like layers. Uh, so, you know, but with that, I think just my experience, like, of designing for other people for so long, I was most nervous about that because um, I stopped doing my brand when I worked at L.A. Tahari because it was a complex because I was a head designer there mm -hmm. and I was like oh I don't know if I can remember like what my aesthetic is because I've been living in Catherine Melandrino's brain for like the past year right. <laughs> like you know and obviously we couldn't do like embroidery on the show in a day and a half so mm -hmm. um it, it was hard and you know as David can attest to too like we were faced with a lot of restrictions it's not like we you know if we did something super simple um you know designers know when you do something super simple and it cheats polyester fabric it's yeah. just gonna look yeah. cheap so what kind you of know? restrictions so, did you have like what what risk what, what did you guys have to you know um, follow well we like just fabric wise even you know like we i know a lot of us i know i think hunter was one of them as well like we i get inspired by fabric when i'm designing you know um i think a lot of designers do like when you see a fabric you can kind of then a style comes to your mind because you know every style is affected by the fabrication so we would design first though um and then we'd have to meet with our pattern maker and give them our sketch uh and obviously you'd have in your head what you kind of wanted the fabric to be but we'd go to rag finders which is like a huge you know yep. warehouse mm -hmm. um, of all the fabric so if you don't find the right fabric like you don't have you're going to come back to your pattern maker and your patterns are already going to be done and so you know i change it up every like, single time you have an hour to buy fabric so you're going through all the fabric and you're like please let me find something that works well you know what we have another designer that just joined us Yay. in the studio we have johanna hello so it's it's like a mini reunion for all of you guys I yeah i love it jo johanna would call me flow drama so i was always wearing flowy over oh, no you said, you said you'd look like jesus every day she was like i get inspired <laughs> yeah. by what jesus wore i'm like you're crazy because she's always wearing like black big clothes uh, and she's so beautiful uh, okay so we have three of uh, you guys here and this is what i want to know because we had jesse wearing garrett here a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. we had caprice in last week and we just want to know, like, was there any drama amongst, you know, the designers? Because so far we've heard very PC versions that, no, everything was fine. And well, we loved Cassandra, each other and it was love fest. Cassandra I and I were boxing. It. Cassandra and I got in fights, you know, like my wig came off. Everyone found <laughs> out my hair was blonde. <laughs> really? I didn't know that. <laughs> I got my hair extensions. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's what we want to know. Yeah, they didn't no, let us have. They didn't... I mean, I think the only thing is everybody probably knows I didn't like Amber's dress, mm-hmm. and that kind of like oh, caused yeah. a ruckus. Um, but that was really about it. Yeah, Cassandra, I loved you during that episode because it, it was funny because you were so you were so vocal about like what you thought or at least to the camera um and it was funny it's like you were honest you're like i don't like that dress <laughs> well and you, like, totally, you, know, like, you totally you totally her out I too actually, i actually like um explained like why i didn't like it yeah. in the beginning i was just like you know from from my experience i used to do plus size for one of the companies worked for i just i told her i was like i i was worried for you because you can wear a bra with it and then you also didn't listen to Caprice, like you just still did like the same kind of dress, you know, that you're wearing, right? You know? yeah. And, you know, and I felt really bad when um, she, I apologized to her twice and I, I didn't want any tension because we had to work together on mm-hmm. the next mm-hmm. challenge. I actually felt bad. But I mean, at the same time, like I've had bosses bark at my collections and tell me they look like dogs in front of like the head blooming dog buyer. So I'm like, it's just clothes. Like, for, you know, I'm like a gothic little Olsen twin. I'm not going to like a <laughs> neon orange lace dress. All right. Yeah. So you- just wouldn't, it yeah. No, I was gonna say you had your beef with with Amber. Let's go around the room. Um, Johanna, would you like to share? Now we already know we saw you and Daniel when you had the uh, competition where you guys had to pair off. Yeah. In the beginning, she that did, a car. That did not about? work out. Car. But in the end, you guys really came together. Like, did you have any yeah, other well, dissension with other designers? Yeah. Well, the funny part is, like, like I know Cassandra you probably experienced this too. Like, we didn't know, like, when people were in their little rooms, like mm-hmm. talking one on one, we didn't know what they were saying. Yeah. So when I was working, I didn't know it was that big of a drama. You know oh, what I mean? So, okay. So, yeah. So, but I, but and, was, and I must say, and Johanna can contest this too. Like, I think viewers just think that we're in a room, like pouring our guts out. Like, we're being <laughs> asked questions. Yeah. and we're just answering them you know so <laughs> mm-hmm. for me like i just answered the question like honestly what i what i thought and i'm very like a cynical kind of sarcastic person which like i make fun of myself 10 times more than i make fun of you know anybody else i'm really yeah. self-deprecating but and, the show was and like i was always just trying to be funny you know but <laughs> like it kind of got cut down to being kind of yeah mean, which I, I i feel bad like you know but i mean i I would say it to anybody's face too, like attached with laughs. So like yeah. when I but in the show, Jesse Cassandra, Ranger, like it was jacket looked like a prison jacket. Yeah, it was like so. <laughs> it was like so crazy. Like in there, like you were just like you had so little time to do everything that if you got yourself caught in drama, it would just slow you down. Mm. So for me, okay. like I was yeah. like I didn't know of the things that were happening until I watched the show. To be honest, like really, like oh my gosh, oh. like I didn't know that made that happen. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so it wasn't as bad yeah. as what we and saw you know, with no, you and Daniel. We're all like, we're all like. We're all not sleeping, and we're, when we were in those interviews, I don't know about you, Johanna and David, like, I was so stressed out about what was going on with my garments out yeah. there that I was just, like, yeah. it was hard to focus on yeah. the actual And the funniest um, part was that, video. yeah, the funniest part is that they would call us when we're the most tired, oh, yeah. so we would just be like, Or oh. when you're the most stressed out and <laughs> you're freaking out. They know out. when you're freaking out. They know it. <laughs> they see you freaking out, and they're like, get in here. <laughs> and you're like, no, no, two hours, two hours, give me two more hours. Yeah. And then they get you, yeah. and then they're they like, tell you. They're like, drink this Red Bull. Yeah. yeah. They're like, drink and this Red Bull. And gummy bears at the same time. So they're you're like, like ah! <laughs> They're like, Cassandra's talking shit. Oh, sorry. Am I not no, no, you're cool. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. Um, all right, so let's get to you. Did, was there anybody that you didn't kind of get mm. along with? Didn't, no, and know? that's one thing that I really wish w- would have happened. You really? <laughs> If they just didn't let us do that. They didn't let us time. It was like, No go room home. for drama? No room for drama. Yeah. You know? Like, that's what, yeah. that's the awesome part about this. And, like, we get back to the hotel, and uh, obviously Exhausted. we're so tired, but we would have, like, you know, hung out with each other and, yeah. you know, but it wasn't like that. There was no time for drama. The only drama was within yourself and whatever they, you know, the producers came up with, you know, the people who are interviewing you, like, yeah. Sandra's talking about. Yeah. yeah. Or, or Sandra, you're talking about everyone. They over definitely, there. they definitely try <laughs> to get. It would, it, would, it would confront me, and I'd be like, "Yeah, I, I did say that. <laughs> like, yeah. it's not a big deal." Um, that's what I really liked, actually, about Johanna, and I think that shows Johanna's like professionalism and her maturity as a professional in the design industry. Is like, there was drama that went on with her and Daniel, and actually them both, and they were just like, "You know what? Like, let's just move on. Yeah. Let's not like hold a grudge," you know. Um, 
that's what kind of upset me about the Amber thing. Is like I, I felt really bad. Like I didn't want to hurt her feelings, yeah. you know. And um, come on now, when you when felt it, really kinda, bad. When she, <laughs> I did. I actually. It, it's funny how it played out on TV because it didn't. It played out differently, like in real life. But I did feel bad. But it was like the ongoing grudge kind of thing, like not being able to move past the fact I didn't like her dress, but it then just started to bother me more, and I'm like, But Amber okay, was like, well. like, in, like in the, I mean, for me, like, she was really cool. I think she had, I think all of us have our own aesthetic, so everyone's very different, so that's why, like, not all of mm -hmm. us like each other's designs, because not all of us design that way. So mm -hmm. I think, um, yeah. I mean, for Cassandra and Amber, I mean, they were in the same team, so they're able to, like, they have to work together, that's why, you know, right. Cassandra yeah. expressed herself, but, um, but I mean, Amber was, like, really awesome, and, and it was just really nice. I mean, in the beginning, she was getting like the highest bids. Remember, Daniel? Like, it was just like so many like yeah, high bids. I, I actually said to her after like that whole dress thing, I said, "You should be laughing at me because like, what do I know? I seriously don't know what I'm talking about because you're in sacks. Like, you should just be like laughing at me for not liking your dress, like being like, you know, girlfriend. Like, I'm in sacks, so, so cares what you think? You know, like, I'm not the one oh. cutting. I'm not the one cutting the checks. <laughs> so you shouldn't really care what I think because I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I you know yeah so cassandra did, that horrible yeah. motor, I have designed that horrible she talks motor a lot <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get anything in there cassandra. So, do you not talk so, to anybody when you're out and about <laughs> i mean when you get a chance to talk you just start talking i All love right. it right let's change gears a little bit so cassandra um would you at the beginning of the season or this whole experience for you did you expect that you would be there as one of the finalists were you like, yes, I'm gonna win this thing, or were you? Because you were you were portrayed kind of as the dark horse, but um, yeah. what you know? What were your thoughts? I uh, no, I didn't think it was gonna be at all. Like every every week, I was like, I can't believe I'm still here. And actually, on the finale, like before we went on the stage, I, I looked at Hunter like backstage, and I looked at her, and I'm like, you won, you're gonna win. So I like I knew it was gonna be Hunter, and my God, like from. I think from early on, I knew it was going to be Hunter, my gut. So I was just Sandra, happy I never, to kind of I, I never knew you were a dark horse, by the way. <laughs> I was like, she's not a dark horse. <laughs> well, just one final thing, um, Cassandra, <laughs> that our, um, you know, our listeners want to know, what what is next for you? Where can we find you? Well, um, right now I'm actually working on a, a give back project with a friend of mine, which is really good. Um, you know, I need to prove to people that I do have a heart. <laughs> I'm not made of coal. <laughs> okay. um, it's called Save Another Life Today, and we're going to be launching it later this year. And it's the website and the Twitter is all the same handle, Save Another Life T Today. And it's um, a one-for-one -one thing, kind of like Tom's Shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, so everyone has to stay tuned for that. Um, it's made in the USA, which is cool. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm looking for a job, so anybody else who wants to hire me, <laughs> I'm available. David, I'd hire you. David, are you hiring? <laughs> okay, great. So that is what I was going to ask you as well. So how has Fashion Star maybe changed your life and your career and everything? You're probably just now finding out, so. Um, yeah, it, I mean, not not anything yet i'm hoping something um i mean it's cool to kind of connect me with my hometown canada because i haven't been back there for 10 years and so you know some people that you like worked so hard to get out of your life come back in <laughs> but um it's cool to kind of have that experience to share with fellow canadians so i mean that's been really nice in my family and my older brother in australia he's watching so it's cool to kind of have an international um feeling like fan base uh but other than that um i mean not nothing yet i'm hoping something we'll have to wait and see that's like my final plea is like someone yeah. hire me that has that's awesome. been, yeah that has definitely been something really awesome about fashion star is that the show airs in 150 countries so you get fans from all over the world like when china malaysia thailand yeah. and in, and i think it's really great for us because i mean if it wasn't for fashion star we wouldn't be able to show our work to the whole world in one shot you know right. so that's been really good for right. us, all yeah. us i think and, well, I, and i have to say too like i'm really glad that uh, hunter and i have become friends after the show and um, it's been really nice it's finding out like our mutual friends and that so I mean it's an experience that we all shared together and I feel like regardless if we keep up the relationships or not it's something special to look back on Definitely. And, you know so whatever happens happens but it, it I don't regret it at all it's such a fun amazing 
cool, surreal experience. Well, we really appreciate you calling in, Cassandra. Uh, I think we've got another caller before we wrap the show, but thanks for calling cool. in. And um, I don't know, it was just really good to get some background from the show and, you know, just some behind the scenes. And we know that you don't have a heart made of coal. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Yeah, thank you so you much. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. All right, so we're back in the studio with yeah, uh, just the five of us. And da now, here's a question I've been burning to ask burning. David. Burning. 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 I don't have a girlfriend, so uh. <laughs> Is that what you're asking me? Oh, damn. <laughs> um, no, here's what I want to ask you. You are in a competition that's, you know, normally dominated by women because what mm -hmm. there were what three three male designers uh yeah well, in the competition two. no there was no five. it was well Garrett, Jesse Ray Garrett. 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 oh i'm sorry well, jesse ray garrett the boys. David, yeah david, david, david brandon, daniel brandon and um brett i would say brett. two that did men's five. though did design men's. exactly it didn't really did, matter did what you were clothing. guy right. or girl yeah. Yeah. i mean it matter what, what you were designing well but here's the other thing we had caprice here and we were talking about men's fashion last week and the way that men's clothing kind of differs from women's clothing because men's doesn't really follow the same like trend forecasting and you're not changing things as much mm -hmm. and it's not as fast and quick like um oh that's a nice picture you said caprice oh i said caprice so, so like how how did that you know did that kind of put you behind the eight ball like when it comes to being in a competition like this you know you know if i would have known what the actual you know men <laughs> women stuff like that beforehand uh -huh. um you know, I would have thought about doing women's, but when you get there, you're like, no way. These people are way more advanced than, you know, what you can think you could do. Mm -hmm. um, but, I mean, honestly, I don't know how many guys really go and buy stuff online yeah. as far as after watching a TV show. It's, mm. it's definitely something that, you it's know, true. difficult to do. So I don't think many guys were buying stuff. Well, I think, uh, well, I don't, you can attest to this. You're getting married and, you know, you're, you're, you're married. Mm -hmm. Like, do you shop Maybe more you, for yeah. your man? Like, do, like if you see something online, do no. you shop for him? Does he shop for himself? Like, he shops for himself. I mean, I, I go I, with him, but I'm not, he's so picky. I'm not going to even take a chance because I'm going to have to return 75% yeah. of what I have. To, Does I he buy. shop online? No. Oh, no. interesting. Mm -hmm. So you might have. Yeah, I mean, that point. is right. Because, I mean, and my fiance watched the show with me and he would kind of comment along like, oh, I would wear that. He I liked would me, not. though. For sure. He, he, he likes, the, sure. he's an express guy. Like he, <laughs> you know, he's just your average. He likes express. But even, I'll buy stuff from express and I'll return it. I'm thinking yeah, it's yeah. his style. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. ugh, I won't but even there, really But there that. is a lot of women. Like I love to dress up my boyfriend. I uh -huh. think, you know, like, I mean, I think he's like gorgeous. So I'm like, this is what I want you to wear. Right. Like, and, and, like, and he like lets Kendall. you. Okay. Okay. That's like so. He lets you. A lot of guys, like I, I wish I could, but. My yeah. husband was like, no, that pocket's weird. But definitely, oh, like, there's, that. like, more <laughs> women watching the show than men, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, but the few men, I think, like, for instance, Express is, like, a great men's store yeah. to shop. So I think there's a few men, like, shopping from from um, Express. And in Macy's, I think, you know, there's also that. But um, for Saks, I think it would be harder to yeah. for men to shop online. Because I have a hard time buying something for myself from yeah. Saks. Yeah. I'm not allowed to buy that for my fiancé because that's just too expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, guys don't... But if you and your yeah. fiancé are watching the show together, mm -hmm. and this makes a point, then you can say, do you like that, honey? And you can go and buy it for him. Yeah. So it does yeah. make some that, sense. That Depends on work, if you're watching actually. it together. And yeah. maybe that's why they put it on Friday night, because maybe you're watching it with a boyfriend. It's like a family or show. If, you know, or you're yeah. watching it with your, your, your son, and the mom goes out and buys it for their son the next day. So there is some men's, but I think predominantly you've got your girls who going, oh, yeah. my God, I love that dress. Yeah. i got to get it. Yes. It's so true. what I want to know from the two of you guys here, did the right person, in your opinion, obviously other than yourselves, win? <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, I mean, it, we all had the same opportunities. Mm -hmm. We all had the same challenges. So whoever, I mean, Hunter won, I think she earned it because mm -hmm. we all had the same opportunity to do to get give it all you know yeah. and, and I think I'm really happy for her I think it's great I think we all needed that like to be part of the show but again like what's great about fashion star is even if you don't win till the end selling every week and you know winning ch uh, yeah. challenges and being exposed to 150 countries I mean that's a big deal so I yeah. felt like we all left as winners you know so yeah. it's really great and uh, of course congrats to Hunter now her store like all the stores have her collection right. so it's really awesome but she definitely earned it yeah so and did, oh. oh speaking of wins have you got your car yet uh, of course, it's outside. Is it really? Oh, yeah. Yay, <laughs> you did get your car. Wow, I didn't know. I thought they would give it to you like six months later. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I'm excited. So, so did you think, did you guys think that Hunter's collection and that finale was the best out of the three? 
I think they were all really great collections. Mm -hmm. Again, we're all like really different, like our aesthetics. I really love Daniel's and I love Cassandra's. I think everyone had the little niche, mm -hmm. but um, I mean, Hunter was selling every week, so it like I think that the buyers really felt you that. Kind of had to give it to her. her. I mean, she sold every her, single yeah, week. Yeah, her I consistency mean, was there. Yeah. yeah, her consistency was there. I also there. feel like she came in with some of the most experience, though. Like, she had already sold the sack. She already kind of no, knew what they I've wanted. I've sold to those stores before, yeah, but, but I mean, not in the, you know, it's hard to sell those stores, but she's been doing it for a while. I've, I've heard about her line, like, five, six years ago, four or five, something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, this girl wanted her stuff. Yeah, hey, you heard of Hunter Dixon, stuff like that. So, she's been around. So you don't think that that, like, having already sold to one of those stores, that doesn't give you, like, an advantage over anybody else? You don't no, think I so? I don't, don't think so. Hmm. I think um, just pure talent is where it's yeah, at. Daniel was yeah. completely brand new, and he made it to the exactly. last three. Yeah. He, was a, he was a newbie. I think Daniel could have won if I he wasn't too. so extreme and so, you know, sometimes a lot of designers are, it's either my way or the highway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he would have went with, you know, what people would have liked him to do, he would have probably won and probably would have gotten bought more. Um, so but basically, he's like his he thing. should have listened my, a little yeah. more. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So he's a stud, though. I yeah. do have to God. say, out of the three collections, I love Daniel's collection. I did, too. I loved all of them, but I loved... I was sad his was, he didn't win because there are items in his collection I wanted. Those, there were so many items within his collection that were stellar. I found myself feeling like I wanted to take different parts out of each of them yeah. you know, and put it together. Like, I love Cassandra's um, collection for Express. I thought it was right on. Yeah. It made sense. She like she got the girl. I love Daniel's collection for Saks. Mm -hmm. And then I love Hunter's collection for Macy's. I mm -hmm. wish I could have put those three together and it just would have been the ultimate. It you does know. suck because a lot of their stuff was really good. I yeah, mean, there was, was at least three yeah. from each one that was so like, whoa. Good. And and, they, and guess what? Nobody ever gets to buy it. So yeah, you'll have to go check sucks, everybody out and right? see what they're doing and see if they not, you know, make yeah. that again. And, and the I crazy thought... part is they had four days to make all of this happen. And that's why, you, like, I, like, I know, like, I totally feel the way you feel. Uh -huh. But um, but it's, like, because they had so little time that they were able to focus really quickly on everything and they just right. tried their best. So they're, they all have, like, the line that's stronger, like you said. You know, there's, like, um, I love, like, Daniel Sachs' collection, oh, too. Oh, my God. So, there's like all different collections that were a little bit stronger because of the time frame for them. I actually thought that they were going to do a bid for each item, like and still buy it. I didn't realize. Yeah. Oh no! That's and watching it. it, yeah, I didn't realize yeah. that that was it. I thought they were going to still buy it, and then that's I was so it. disappointed when yeah. it was just oh, one and then collection. Something I don't know if you guys saw it. You can see it on NBC Fashion Star Online. Is that um, myself, Garrett, and Jesse Ray, and um, who else was it? Sylvia. We came back to help them at oh. the end. Oh, okay. So we all came back and we helped them for the last day and it was really crazy because when we came there they had like every, it was they, before we only have one pattern maker helping us and now they had like four pattern makers helping them to finish everything mm -hmm. so we helped them out and you know with fabrics and fittings and just like little things you know what, was it tough being in that position knowing that like you were helping them and you hadn't made it to that, you know, I stage? I mean, or? maybe for other people, but for me, I mean, I thought it was a really, like a compliment for them yeah. to have me come yeah. back and help them out, because I would like for someone to help me if I was in that situation, you know? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was really cool that I was able to, you know, work with him and help him and give him my advice, and for him, like, to feel confident, because every time we partner up, we would blow out, like, and sell, you know? So for mm -hmm. me to give him that confidence at the end, like, okay, I'm, I got this, um, it was really cool. So you were partnered with Daniel? Yeah, so okay. we went back to help our partners. Oh, at okay. the end, at the finale. So oh. did you give him any advice? Did he ask you, like, what yeah. do you think about this and that? Like, we had fittings. We were working on fittings. I helped him put the models together, and I told him to make sure that everything is sellable. He, um, We changed colors. Like, that blue dress for, I think it was Macy's? E express. express. No, that was Express. Yeah, that mm -hmm. tiered blue dress. Mm -hmm. No, there was another blue dress that was, like, fitted. It was navy blue. With, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. Yes, yeah. I great. love so that dress. When I came in, that dress was fuchsia. Oh. And um, and then Sylvia and I and, and Daniel we were like oh my gosh I think you should change the color so we changed a few colors because some colors were brighter than what they were so mm -hmm. like we were able to help them out and I know I think um, Jesse and Garrett also helped Hunter so it was really oh, nice that's cool yeah that's awesome that's I wish they would have really showed cool. that a little bit yeah you could check it out online on NBC right. Fashion Star there's like a little scene of us helping them out well as we as we wrap this up I want to know from you guys how has being on the show how's it changed your lives. Um, I mean, I guess it's sort of like you have to wait and see what really happens. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, after I left the show, uh, I just got right back into it. Then, yeah. like, pretty much the next day, I was back doing my line cohesive and just, you know, getting it going. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I went to fashion school on the show. I'm a better designer, better, you know, more confidence than ever, and my line shows it. Yeah. Um, 
and it's only getting better. I actually never thought I was a designer. Uh, and now, um, you know, if anything, I don't care about the fame or anything that comes out of it. It made me a better person. Mm -hmm. uh, it showed me that I can do more than just design. Um, you know, and I can actually do things in time and make, it was hard to make those decisions, you know, yeah, especially boom, under boom, pressure. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's something where like you, I mean, it's like part of being a designer. You have to know how to design quickly and meet your deadlines. So it was really fun to do it on TV, you know, because it's like, it's nice to share with everyone that being a designer is not just glamorous. It's like a lot of work. Mm -hmm. And like yeah. for me, like, you know, <laughs> it's really helped me to be known like all over the world and, mm -hmm. and expanding my brand gladly. Like I'm leaving to China on Monday wow. and it's been like a lot of like press where could share my story because again you know as a designer for myself I didn't come from the glamorous world either mm -hmm. it took a lot of work for me to start designing at 19 and working for corporate brands so it's nice to have a great following to hear all those ladies that bought the designs from fashion store they're like I love it like this one's from Express mm -hmm. so it's That's really so cool cute. to see like everyone sharing their pictures and, yeah you know um, and just taking you know my brand to the next level which is you know to these big department stores as a young designer this is like a dream come true for all of us you know mm -hmm. so basically right after the show you jumped right back into it as well just yeah, back like, into designer mode, doing what you do. You yeah, and then people, you know, they know you, they call you, they want to do things with you. There's, you know, big brands that want to work with you. It's, it's, it's just a big blessing. It's really awesome. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Do um, you guys have any more questions? Oh, I think that's that, it. Because yeah. Yeah, awesome. I could keep answering all the <laughs> Unless there's anything else that we missed that you guys yeah. want to bring well, up. Um, I would love for everyone to follow me at GlaudiCollection.com <laughs> and on Twitter. It's, I really love sharing, you know, where I'm going. And I love Absolutely. everyone to see that, you know, after Fashion Star, like what comes. And, and I think it's, um, I think you guys should audition next time, you know, for season three. <laughs> Hopefully there's a season three. And um, just believe in you guys and in yourself and just have big goals. And you never know where it's going to take you, you know, just work really hard and, and you'll be a fashion star. And to <laughs> nice. Point, what's uh, a piece of advice that you would give to a budding designer, somebody who wants to audition for the show? What advice would you give them? Um, I actually have some people that I'd like to put on the show, and I keep I talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are just hesitant. I don't know. I'm like, you just got to do things that you don't want to do, and more <laughs> things come Take out of risk. them. Honestly, I, didn't, I was scared to be on TV, and then you get this huge thing of paperwork from lawyers and NBC. Yeah. Like, oh, right. man, I don't want that. I mean, there's sleepless nights. You're like thinking about that, but honestly, uh, it gets you things that you never thought that you would get. I yeah. mean, it puts you in the places that you don't want to be, and sometimes you need to get in those places to actually move on in life mm -hmm. and get, you know, what you really deserve. Um, so that's about it. With so that. now you you did admit one thing, right? I think I don't know if it was we had gone live yet, but you said that you didn't watch this first season of Fashion Star. Oh, we were live when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> we did you watch the first season of Fashion Star? Did you know what you were getting yourself into? She probably yeah. watched every single one. Um, well, I travel a lot, so I wasn't able to watch every single one, but I watched a few of them. And, and what I loved about Fashion Star, once again, is like you get to design for these big department stores. As mm -hmm. other shows, if you don't win, you don't win. Yeah, you know what I right, mean? Like, yeah. you go back to, like, struggling. Yeah. But it's like, this is just like, uh, I think it makes every designer a fashion star because mm -hmm. it just opens doors that are like amazing so you knew what you were getting yourself into kind of but here, um didn't. i did I but the only thing i did Whoa. not i just uh, like the thing that stressed me out is like being in a reality show and working and working like i knew it was gonna be crazy because as designers we have like crazy deadlines it's like it brings out everything for you so i just wanted to make sure that you know like whatever i do on tv it's like my best mm -hmm. because I mean, everyone's watching, so right. that's the exposure, just like yeah. the exposure. So it's like you really have to know that you know, whatever you do, everyone's gonna see you, and and right. you're exposing yourself. So be you, you need to have tough skin and take everyone's compliments or advice as like you know constructive criticism to be better. You know. Definitely. Uh, I did have one more question for David. So you said you have your own line. Where else can we find you right now? Um, you can, I'm sold in all door Bloomingdale's. Um, I also have a kid's line in Bloomingdale's. All door Bloomingdale's. Uh, yes. I used to be a buyer for Bloomingdale's. I know we talked about yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can, um, uh, buy my line on, uh, cohesiveapparel.com. Um, and pretty much all boutiques in LA and around the U.S. Nice. So nice. it's very cool. I got a bunch of projects coming up soon, so you'll be seeing a lot of me. And, uh, hopefully more of this and hopefully more of, you know, Voiceovers? No. Radio? Is this, what, is this what we're doing? No, no, no. I'm just saying you, your voice is just. And da, 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 yeah. da, 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 da. <laughs>
I spent, to be honest, oh. she's blushing here. I spent, I, I spent all day <laughs> working on my voice. That's why he made it to Fashion Star, guys. That's why he made his voice. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, right? That's Don't why. you hear it? <laughs> exactly why. By my line, cohesive. It's at Bloomingdale's. <laughs> all right, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming into the studio and dishing with thank us. You guys. Uh, one more time, where can we find you? In your line. www.cohesiveapparel.com. And what about me. Twitter? You on Twitter? Uh, you can follow me at David Appel FS and on Instagram at Stay Cohesive. All right. Yeah, and Miss Johanna over here on the couch. GloudyCollection.com and at Gloudy Joanna on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Awesome. <laughs> and ladies, Virginia. You guys can follow me at Instagram at Virginia Arena and you can check out my store, yours truly, LA.com. And you can find me, Erica Vieira, at Twitter, at Erica Vieira LA. And I also have a clothing line um, with my sister, and that's called Rally Babe. So, rallybabe.com. I'm Deanna Vaughn, and I don't have a clothing <laughs> line. But you can find me on Twitter at GoToGirlTV. That's G-O, the number two, Girl TV. Uh, thanks, guys. This has been the finale for Aww. Fashion Star. Oh, last right? one. Last one. <laughs> uh, we hope you enjoy tuning in with us every single week again. You can still go online, you can go on YouTube, you can download the show and rate us and make comments because we will still be there. And and, um, and us hosts, we'll be, we'll be doing other shows yeah, here. Yeah, we do other Buzz, shows so here. So follow if, us, we'll keep you follow posted. Follow us. If y'all like Real Housewives of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, right. thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye. From Bye. Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.